Spotify, it's Therese and Lost in Paper and I'm so excited. I'm here as a guest designer for the Flower Challenge and it's their anniversary or birthday so congratulations you guys are amazing and if you don't know anything about the Flower Challenge it is what it says it is. It's all about flowers and you know me, <laughs> I love my flowers and they made me kind of pick, well I think the challenge is to pick your favourite flower stamp but I couldn't do that. <laughs> I had to pick one of my favourites because I have so many. I just love creating with flowers but I thought I'd go for an older stamp set today and this is one that's made by Stampendous and I haven't used this in a little while but I still love it. It's a great stamp set. You can't get this stamp set anymore. This is the one where all of the flowers come individual and you can create your own flower scene but you can get um, this set was called ranunculus and they still have a very similar um, set it's a single stamp though it's a cling stamp and it's called ranunculus field so you can actually get this but the the scene is already set you can't build your own scene like I have here I have stamped it out with some archival jet black ink and this is on some Bristol smooth cardstock because I want to do some really easy water coloring today I don't have a lot of time but I do love the look of water and probably the hardest thing for me is to let it dry between layers <laughs> and not work at it too much I did want a messy look so I'm trying not to play with the colors too much and I haven't used my distress inks for a little while and they are always a really easy medium and fun way to add that watercolor look to your projects. Obviously when you're doing the wet on wet technique so that means you wet your cardstock first bring the ink over and on a brush and then add it to the wet cardstock and it'll just sort of pull. You can't do two areas that are beside each other until they're dry unless you want them to mix because the water by nature will blend. So the pink even though it was the picked raspberry still wasn't bright enough for me <laughs> so I did come in with a couple of my zig markers. All the colors that I use today will be listed at my blog as well as the link to the, the flower challenge itself and they'll also be in the YouTube description below so can check it out through that link I'll be back very soon when all the fla flower coloring <laughs> background coloring and drawing is done So I didn't want to add too much shading, I didn't want to play with the cardstock a lot more. I wanted this to be a really easy, quick and simple card. And one way to add a bit of fun and just to add a bit of interest to the card is to add splatters. And I'm using my black soot ink for this. I've just added it to my block, added some water and using my brush to just to brush it off onto the panel. I have cut the panel down so it is the pretty much the finished size that it's going to be on the front of my card. I've stamped a sentiment and heat embossed it in white onto black cardstock and this is another old set from Technique Tuesday and it's called So Sorry and I just adore this fla flaunt. I do. It's the flaunt that I love. No, it's the font that I love. It's really pretty. 
and it has a really nice sort of um, sorry for your loss one as well in it it's only a little set I've got a top fold card that I've covered in some pink cardstock popped up my panel with some orange fun foam and then also popped up my sentiment on the card I did actually move my sentiment over a little bit I didn't like it when I'd finished so in the photos you'll notice it is moved over I added some enamel dots and that's my finished card for today Thanks for joining me. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.